Good morning, everyone. So it looks like it snowed. The winter is finally here. Because of this weather, it's going to be a pretty busy day for me. And I figured this is a great occasion for me to talk about how do I actually keep my day organized and how do I stay productive throughout the entire day. For me, staying productive is especially important because I have a family and a two-year-old, but at the same time I also have a full-time job. I have a hobby that I love and the people who I want to produce some content for. Staying on top of things that I need to do and being very wise about my time is something very important. There's a small thing that I develop, which I call 24 action points theory, which basically helps me think how do I manage my day by hour. I want to say Mark Cuban was the one, uh, at least he was the first one I heard saying this thing, time is my biggest commodity. And I think he's so right about it because time is finite. We don't have more than 24 hours in a day and we don't have more than seven days a week and 365 or 366 days a year. And because of that, I think you should not be only treating the days, but the hours in your life without more scrutiny, especially as you take on more and more things. And especially for those of you out there who are struggling with trying to find time to take on something new. Like for example, this channel. In theory, if you think about the fact that I have a full-time job, I have a family, I have a little kid, I try to work out pretty regularly. You might say, where would you find also time to produce at least one to two videos every week? And this is how I had to do it. I had to actually think strategically about my every single day on the hourly basis, and I had to cut out the slack. <laughs> 24 action point theory is actually based on the video game terminology. You have, for example, your main character, and then there's an enemy in their way. In certain genres of video games, the movements and the number of things that your main character can accomplish is limited by the amount of action points that they have. Besides, say, defeating this enemy, which is a particular goal in my life, I have other things and other items that I need to take into account. It all comes down to how you manage your action points pool. I am this character. I am this bunny who has a limited number of action points, and that's why there are 24 of them. It's not a coincidence. There are 24 hours in your day and you have to think about every single hour as your action point and different type of activities, whether it's spending time with your family, whether it's taking care of a particular project, doing house chores outside in this kind of weather, they all take a certain amount of hours. So you want to really think through strategically how you want to spend those hours. Okay, let me let you enjoy this winter wonderland for a couple of seconds while we're heading inside because I think I need to be indoors to explain to you the whole theory in a little bit more of illustrative form. Okay, so now I'm back home. Let me use this wall of sticky notes as a way to describe what my approach is all about. Okay, so let's imagine the following. We have, as I've mentioned before, apologize for my terrible handwriting. We have 24 action points, right? So those are the things we kind of keep in focus. Every day I sleep about five to six hours a day. So six hours of my day are gone now. As I wake up every morning at 5 a.m., it takes me about an hour to eat, an hour to prepare and get my little one up and my wife up, and about an hour to get to work. So another three hours are gone from my life. So around now 8 a.m., I'm in the office, and now I work from 8, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So I work for eight hours in the office, taking care of everything in my full-time job. But the gym usually eats up another hour. And plus, if you add the commute back home, we're talking about another hour. Actually, now that I realize this is when I leave work. So it's more like with the commute, we're going to close it to the six o'clock. And by the time I come home, take care of everything and eat, 
That's another. Spend some time with the family. That's another hour. As you can see, on the regular weekday, all I have left are two hours a day before I need to go back to sleep. And I need to be very strategic about how I use those two hours because those two hours are only available to me five days a week. That means that there are only 10 hours a week that I can spend doing this kind of hobby, things of this nature. And this is the reason why I like this 24 action point system because when I do this, I quickly see that there are two hours in my life that I can either spend time just watching some TV show, playing video games, or sitting on social media, or I can spend these two hours of my life becoming better at my full-time job and becoming better at some of the hobbies that I'm taking care of or taking on a completely new set of tasks. My advice is think about what kind of things you want to accomplish in life. Do you want to learn a new language? Do you want to take on a new hobby or maybe spend more time with friends? then go ahead, think about how many hours do you think you'll need to take care of this and then lay it all out like this. This approach helped me to understand that I don't have that much time. I really used to waste my time around these two hours every day without really doing or accomplishing much. And this year with this channel, this is something I really decided that I'm going to do differently. I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to devote these two hours every day of the week and hopefully sometime on the weekend doing something that's going to make me a better person, whether it's by experiencing new things, broadening my horizons, or learning new skills. And hopefully in the process, I'm gonna take some of you along for a ride. This is the 24 action point system, or theory, or whatever else I called it. You should go ahead and try it for yourself and let me know what you think. Now let's go back outside. We have some work to do. <laughs> Oh. I'm gonna play with this bad boy right now. I hope you found this video helpful. I hope you found this method helpful and I hope it will make your and your life more productive. As always, let me know in the comments below what you think about this approach and this theory. Let me know if you have some other way that you're making sure you're staying productive and you manage your time responsibly. Consider subscribing and as always, I see you next week. Peace! <laughs>